y'all welcome back to another video going ahead and getting back in the creek today as you guys can see pretty nice morning so far no wind should go up to about 72 degrees today so water should warm up pretty good but we're going to go ahead and get back in here we're going to try to push further back into the creeks than we have before see if we can get on some more redfish and maybe even some snook we'll just have to see some trout most likely so hope you guys enjoy watching the video let's go catch some fish all right see if there's more snook You get bit? Sure you were there. All that. I saw you. I saw that tip. I saw you playing back there. Nice red. Let's see if I got that net for you. That's a pretty decent one. Well, I hope that this GoPro right here got your hook set because that's going to be a good one. That is a good fish. Ooh, hang on. Hang on. Reel down more. And pull more. There you go. Ooh. Nice fish. That is a good fish. Is that a trout trick? Yep. Of course. Of course. Are you just swimming it? Yeah. No, I just threw it in there. I, I had saw him come back from. Back there, and I just laid it out in front of me. Okay. All right, salt fish. Good deal. There he goes. I might have to have you uh, give me one of them trout tricks. I don't think so. Cause I don't have any. I didn't bring any. I don't know what they though. Should have brought some. You know what I mean? This is this is a little uh, father son competition here. Uh huh. I'll figure out something. <laughs> He's fired up. He is fired up. Not Here, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. That's a solid fish, dude. Yes, it is. Nice. Yes, it is. Nice. Whew. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. All right. Nice fish. Nice, nice, nice fish. ticket so far today go ahead and get a release on them getting back in the water 
Pretty much, definitely oyster bars. Yeah, I mean that fish was right where he was supposed to be. Yeah. I just don't think they're. I don't think they're wandering very far from the structure. He was around the backside, maybe like five yards off the where the bars are exposed. Yeah. Right on the drop, right on the drop off. Right where he should be. So if the pattern holds true. Fish up here. Right, that water. That's a good one. It's not huge, but he's good. on this one. Pattern's pretty solid, ain't it? Huh? Huh? Come back king is wrong. <laughs> Whoa, how quickly it changes. Say it was saying it was normal for those birds. So I guess evidently when they hit adolescence, yeah, then yeah, they get very territorial and very nasty. <laughs> Just like teenagers. Pretty much. These people were saying that they had this one that they had raised from a baby. And the stupid thing bit off part of his nose. Wow. No little tiny redfish, smallest one of the day for sure. But let him go. Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. That's all that. Cool. Oh. oh. It is. Oh, shoot. You got him? Yeah. Hurry, hurry, we got you. He's got me. <laughs> And you guys just love this boat, don't you? Dude, that was <laughs> insane. Did you see the eat and everything? I did. Oh. These are my hand hammer. This rod is light too, dude. Woo! Oh, just wrapped around, man. God, <laughs> That's 
a nice one. That's a stud. Dude. That's, that's, a, that's a fish of the day. That's a stud. Nice one. Whew. All right, you guys, that is a stud, stud redfish. Once again, on the Z-Man trout trick, root bear and chartreuse tail. Not too bad. Definitely the fish of the day. We're gonna get a measurement on them, then go ahead and get a nice release on them too. No, 29. 29. Wow. He's just thick. Thought he'd been 30. And he's just a big boy. That's, yes, a good, that's a good one there. There's the twenty four. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe the 28. I think I'll tell you. Yeah, I'll get to that for you. Actually looks pretty good in this picture, not gonna lie. It's a red. It's a baby. All right, you guys. <laughs> little chunky little red fish. Just kidding. He's a little baby. I'll let him go. Need a bigger one than that. Much bigger. I do. I mean, I enjoy catching the snook, but I really like catching redfish. See, I prefer snook. Well, I like the challenge. I mean, I like both. But so, to me, snook is just not as much of a challenge anymore. It's all a little red. You got a trolling motor? That spot always to be. Yep. Always. All right, buddy boy. Come here. Come to Papa. All right. Nice solid red. Go ahead and let him go. Kitchen release. Let him go and let him grow. He's not a bad one. He'd keep. All right, y'all, so we had a pretty good day today back in the creeks. We went a little bit further than we usually do in these creeks today. Uh, water was a little bit colder. Started out about 57 degrees in the morning. Warmed up to about 63 with the sun coming up, so it was pretty solid for them um, all afternoon. 
Fishing was a little bit slow in the morning, but it picked up once we figured out a pattern. And uh, once we figured out what they were hitting, the water warmed up a little bit. So courtesy of my dad, he found out that they were hitting on a trout trick, which I don't really use a whole lot anymore. I used to use it a lot back in the day. Don't reuse it a whole lot anymore, but a trout trick on a Pro Bullets jig head. So it is head weighted, but it falls down just like this. It has a nice glide to it as it falls. So it's a really, really good bait. Root beer and chartreuse, caught a lot of fish today. Also towards the end of the day, went ahead and switched it up and tried out this new paddle tail from Salt Strong called the Mulligan. This is a new bait that actually I just got. Andy got me a pack of these. So thanks, shout out to Andy for getting me these, but it actually works really good. It has a really tight wiggle to it when you swim it through the water. Um, only caught a couple fish on it, but excited to use it some more. So. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you could, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next one.